What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, finally, I finally get time to work on my own farm. We're out here now and it's soil sampling day. We have lime and all kinds of stuff we're doing today on the farm. We're gonna be doing some cuttings and everything, but I just wanna give you a very short video on soil samples. Um, I finally get to show you what I'm doing on my current farm. I've been so busy with consulting and it's been raining all the time. So we have two food plots here one on the right, one on the left of this uh, gas well road. And everything right now is greening up big time because of these warm temperatures and stuff we've been having. And <clears throat> the deer have been hitting the plots because there's some grains in there. I see all the clover coming back from last year from Domain's Hall Pass. Um, and there's some brassicas and stuff that, that's coming back as well. But very simple soil samples, guys. We have just this red bucket that I use every single year. Um, nothing special and we have a spade you know spade costs a couple dollars or some old soil on there that we're gonna get off from last year but we'll take you through this get some soil samples here it's pretty simple uh, but basically I have two samples I have food plot over here food plot on over this side and we're just gonna take each one is probably about 0.35 of an acre on this farm so we're gonna take maybe six or seven samples out of this side and then six or seven samples out of this side. Now we're gonna keep them, keep them separate. The six samples in here will all go in one bucket, be mixed together, put into a soil sample bag, we'll ship it out. Same thing on this side. We'll put everything into the bucket, mix it up, that way you get an average, okay? We're gonna ship it out and, and then we'll know what our soil is. Now I do have a line that we're gonna be adding after I do a soil sample, just because I previously from last year's soil sample, I didn't get a chance to add lime. So I kind of know where it's at, and then once we get the sample back, we can adjust from there. Quick tip on soil samples. A lot of times, people are planting on hillsides. You know, you, you got a slight incline, right? Think of nutrients in the soil. What's everything do? Gravity, it all goes downhill. So your highest nutrients on those hillsides are gonna be down at the bottom, okay? So in that case, we know that the lower side of those food plots are gonna be more nutrient dense than the top side. So in hillsides, I will generally get my, most of my soil from the top side because that's gonna be your least nutrient rich out of, the, out of that whole field. So think about that. Slight inclines here, eh, pretty much relatively flat. There is a very slight you know, slope to it, but I'm not too concerned about it. We'll just go through, we'll zigzag through it, get samples. Like I said, mix it up, ship it out. It's one of the most important parts of soils, uh, of food plots that people overlook. Two soil samples cost me, I think, $28, I believe, $28. I've had this, you know, a spade. You know, they, they sell the probe, the soil probes and stuff you can step on and use and, and all that. You don't have to get fancy with it. Uh, any bucket, you don't have to use a bucket. You can, I've seen guys that will cut like a gallon jug open, you know, just stick the dirt in there and, and mix it up. Nothing fancy. So, this year, please get a soil sample, follow it to the T, and it'll prevent you from having failures in the future. Your plots will be much more nutrient rich and so forth. So, any questions, leave a comment down below about soil sampling. And let me know, guys. Let me know if you're doing a soil sample and let me know the results. I'm curious on what your pH is. I'm curious what your organic matter is. I'm curious of what your CEC is. Let me know down below.